So the first time I thought about competing at the TT was 2009, and it was my first time uh, to the event. I uh, was a, a guest, because I was racing for Honda at the time in BSB, and I came to the TT just as a guest, just to watch. And you know, I got all those emotions that you, you go through of a normal race weekend. You see your mechanics and you know, you get the smell of the fuel and the tires and you know, you see the awning set up and the bikes and everything are in, in order, ready to go out on track, which is what you traditionally do. It's just the venue's different. So you get this sensation that I'm ready to go and race because of all those senses are, are heightened. And then when I went and I was in the sort of holding area and, and saw a few bikes come past. It was almost like from one split moment to the next, it was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this someday. I didn't choose to ride at the, at the 2013 TT. It was just that that was the first moment that it became really possible. 14 doesn't really have many good memories. If, if 14 was my first year, I'd, I'd have never gone back. I didn't enjoy any of it, but purely because the bike didn't work uh, very well. Where 13, it was it was a mixed year too. Like the the opening superbike race was really good, but um, I had a problem with the rear disc had had broken and it sent a vibration through the bike. So I was sort of a little bit nervous about you know was it something where I needed to stop or could I carry on? And even after I'd done the pit stop and we'd fixed the problem because a new wheel went in, I still had that sort of nervous energy of of there was an issue. And the super stock race, the chain was slipping on, on, the, on the sprocket, so I had to abandon that race. And then the final senior, there was an electrical fault with the bike and it would sort of intermittently cut out. Yeah, every time I was on the track, there was always you know, something that was you know, making me uncomfortable. In, the, in that senior race, at a point when the bike was running well, I was coming up over the mountain and the sun was out and you know, I didn't have any pressure or expectations because it was my first year and it was just really a sensation of pure freedom. You know, I mean, you're riding and just enjoying the moment. There was uh, almost like this harmony where everything was just nice and sweet. It was a shame that the, the bike then did um, have that fault. Since 2013, um, any year that I haven't been present, hasn't been my choice, it's more circumstances. Either the team haven't wanted me to do it or they haven't been a team that competes. There's always been an, an outside reason for it. I, I came back in 17 to the TT just purely because the opportunity to do it had presented itself. Norton were motivated to expand and, and grow and get bigger and, and go further. With my British Superbike experience, I guess I was one of the perfect choices for them to, to try and do that and fortunately we had you know, a good couple of years. 17 was a better year because it was new and there was a lot happening uh, with the bike and the brand and there's a lot of energy behind what we were, were trying to achieve. Whereas 18 was a better year in results as it turns out, but nothing had improved. Like the bikes were 12 months old from the, the last time when they rode in 17. So, I had high expectations that things would progress. It was a little bit less satisfying because of the lack of progress. Coming back for 23, FHO and the team already present and have, you know, Hickey racing at the, at the Isle of Man and I've kind of bolted onto the side of, of what they're already doing. And being that I have the, the Isle of Man TT experience and uh, motivation to come back, it just worked well. It made sense to, for us both to do it. What makes me want to come back and do the TT? I guess it's the, it's the thrill, the sensation. It's what you get back. It's almost like you have a greater sense of being alive when you have so much to risk. Every sense of emotion is heightened. It's not scary like a roller coaster that you don't have control of. It's more of a thrill because you're in control of your destiny. That makes you completely at peace. Equally, there's still that level of danger. You, you have this greatest sense and heightened experience. That's ultimately what draws you back. Where I'm sat now and, and with the team I'm with, I do believe it's the best position and team to be in. You know, Pete's the, the best and worst teammate. The best because he's doing what everyone wants to do. So you've got this perfect example of what's necessary, where it's the worst because you have to do what he's doing and more to better it. It's actually the, the, the perfect environment because 
there's a huge amount of understanding and information and material for me to benefit from. So I think ultimately that's the, that's the perfect environment to be. And then there's only that last bit, that desire and will to, to win and, and outperform your teammate that's obviously compromised by his standard. I'd be happy with what, whatever result I come away with in the respect that the result's already fixed. I can't force a result. Whatever I finish with will be whatever I've been comfortable to do. If I was to sort of dangle the carrot in front of myself, it would just be purely to, to do a personal best. I'd like to better the 131 mile an hour lap that I did the last time I was there and I'd like to better the fifth place position, which is the best result I've had there. That's what I'd like to at least achieve. To win would be like, you know, winning a, a MotoGP race. You know, I've never had the opportunity to race in MotoGP, but um, I do have the opportunity to race the Isle of Man and I do have an opportunity to win. So for me, it would be um, like putting it on that scale. It'd be, it'd be like winning a Moto Grand Prix World Championship race. I'm sure that would be the same sensation that I could, I could get. Each time I go to the racetrack, um, whether it be BSB or the Isle of Man, it'll still have that same position of, of importance. I'll still ap apply the same level of focus to everything I'm doing now that I have done in the past and, and will try and do in the future. If it feels natural and I'm comfortable to keep moving forward and it's not forced, it's like everybody wants to come and do this together, um, then, I'll, then I'll keep coming back.